Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Copper Jacket TV. So I'm happy to come to you guys today with yet another huge Second Amendment win. This is all thanks to the Supreme Court 6-3 decision in Bruin that changed the Second Amendment landscape in the United States forever. So let's go ahead and talk about what's going on and what the big win was. This video is sponsored by Gunspot, absolutely one of the coolest websites that you guys will ever see. If you are into Second Amendment related hobbies and traditions, you need to check out Gunspot. Their auctions are incredible. Everything you need, you will find there. They have pages like the War Room and the Academy and Battle Station. And in the Academy, you will find all sorts of really useful information. It is honestly a one-stop place to visit. So check out Gunspot. You know how to find them. And this channel is proud to be sponsored by SDI, Sonoran Desert Institute. If you ever wanted to take your hobby to the next level, check out their online courses by clicking the link down in the description box or calling 480-999-4767 and get a head start on your future today. So I'm sure most of you out there remember that after the Supreme Court's Bruin decision, there were several states that just threw an absolute complete hissy fit. They could not believe that the Supreme Court overturned their carry laws, saying they were unconstitutional because we have a right to carry outside the home for our defense. So these states had to go from may issue to shall issue. Well, these states did that. They complied with that part of it, but then expanded on their existing carry laws to limit where you could carry, how you could carry, uh, the, the rules and regulations surrounding how you can get the permit to make it nearly impossible. And if you did get a permit, it was almost impossible to actually use it because you couldn't go anywhere. Just about everything was considered a sensitive place and everything was pretty much off limits. So even if you were lucky enough to finally get that permit, you were still out of luck. Well, thankfully, a federal judge, and again, because of Bruin, has granted a preliminary injunction in Coons v. Platkin, which is an FPC case out of the state of New Jersey that challenged these sensitive places and some of the requirements for getting that permit. So that injunction is going to stop enforcement of the sensitive places requirements and some of those requirements to get the permit as well. It's not a complete blanket injunction. Uh, unfortunately, some of the sensitive places that were added are still gonna be on the list, but as a majority of places that you could go throughout your day, uh, New Jersey is no longer going to be able to enforce that law with this injunction in place. So let's go ahead and talk about what exactly the judge uh, allowed the injunction to stop and some of the places that are still going to be uh, barred from or prohibited from carrying even with a permit. Okay, so this is what the injunction covers and what New Jersey is not allowed to enforce anymore. So this injunction covers uh, carrying on private property that is open to the public. So if there is private property like a business and the business doesn't have a sign up, right? Uh, under the law prior to this injunction, you couldn't carry there. You couldn't carry on private property that was open to the public unless it was expressly granted. Well, now they don't need to have a sign. They don't need to grant you access. Uh, you can carry there. So it, it gets, basically gets rid of that prohibition on carrying on private property that is open to the public. It also allows for vehicle carry. That was another big one that New Jersey tried to do. They put all sorts of rules and regulations around carrying in your vehicle, and this puts an injunction on that as well. It also gets rid of the in-person interview requirement of carry permit application uh, character endorsers. So basically it gets rid of the provision that says that there's going to be an interview uh, of somebody who endorses your character so that they can basically vouch for you as being a good person in advance of your application moving on for your permit. Now, another one that it gets rid of is the insurance mandate. This was a big one as well because that's where people are going to have to find this insurance that really doesn't exist to cover what New Jersey wanted it to cover. And then at the same time, they were going to have to incur a monthly expense and they were going to have to keep that insurance up. And if it lapsed, then that was going to cause even more problems. So that, that was a big one right there. And this enjoins enforcement of that insurance mandate as well. So that's, that's another big one on top of all of this other stuff that it removes. Now, even though it's great the judge put that injunction on private property that's open to the public, which really opens things up quite a bit, unfortunately, the judge exempted some things as sensitive places. So playgrounds, youth sporting events, uh, mental health facilities, certain care facilities, and I'll, I'll put a, a link down below where you can find the complete list, certain care facilities, uh, youth sporting events, and stuff like that are, are all still considered sensitive places even after this injunction. So the injunction did free up quite a bit 
but not everything. Now, unfortunately, this is not a complete blanket win like I was hoping it would be, but it's still a big win because prior to this injunction, you couldn't go, I mean, basically anywhere. I mean, you couldn't go down the street to the laundromat and then go next door to that business and maybe have a sandwich and then just look around the next business. You couldn't go about your daily life and with all the restrictions that they had about functional firearms and vehicles, uh, forget about it. You just, you couldn't carry at all in the state of New Jersey if you were lucky, not, lucky enough to even get the permit to begin with. And so this opens up quite a bit. It really does open things up a lot. Even with those existing restrictions that didn't get enjoined, uh, I still think it's a major win and a, a step forward. Obviously, this is a preliminary injunction. There's more things that are going to be happening after this, and hopefully we'll win this case in its, you know, entirety but for now at least opening those places would be fantastic now obviously there could be appeals and things like that and cases like this can last for a long time but again this is a really good indicator to show us exactly uh, where these you know judges these district court and federal court judges minds are they have to look at things under Bruin they look at things through the light of Bruin and that's the decisions that we get we get wins out of that and that's fantastic and a lot of that has to do with the way that FPC uh, goes through things the way that they argue in court their attorneys their network all of it is fantastic and so again even though it's not a blanket win it's still a very big win and i'm sure the people in new jersey absolutely appreciate it so you know continue on every single day it's never going to stop they're not going to stop so we're not going to stop i want to thank you all very much for watching i really do appreciate it please like subscribe you guys have a great day